removing yourself, detaching yourself from emotions. I think that was just really powerful. Detaching yourself from everything and and um, understanding that there is no ownership of anything in this world. I, yes. I really connected with that as well because he says all of your achievements, everything that you own, everything that you have, it is not yours. Mm -hmm. It is because someone else helped you or it came along the way from this or that. And I think that's where a lot of it came from for me is like I – felt like I had this right. I felt like I had this entitlement because I earned it. I worked hard for it. But when you can let all of that go, man, it feels so light when you feel like you have no sense of connection. Yes. And um, he, he brings in there, it doesn't mean that you are indifferent. Right. It just means you can value the time that you had with it that much more. It's, and, and he does kind of bring it to a, a level where he says, even your children are not yours. Yes. Right. Like, mm -hmm. and because a lot of people are attached to their family, they're attached to their kids. I love that you brought this up, by the way. <laughs> and 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 it's 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 a really crazy concept to think about because I'm like, oh, it's my kids. I love I love my daughter. I so made much. my my kids, right. right? Yeah. But like, it's like no, they they will go on to become their own people, and their life is their own life, not not what you not what you control. Absolutely. I actually had a conversation with a friend this morning about this, where. We see parents so often try to control their kids. They manipulate their kids without trying to be evil about it. Right. Not manipulating, I always feel like it's like a strong evil word, mm -hmm. but it's not. They're trying to control their kids and tell their kids what to do, how to dress, what to eat, and all of these things. And these children, they don't have any say in anything and they grow up feeling that you know, this is how they lose their confidence because they're, they're never able to make their own decisions. And mm -hmm. then when you're an adult, all of a sudden you're expected to make all these decisions on your own. And that's when you're riddled with all this anxiety and fear because right. you've never been taught to, Yeah. right? If we as parents allowed and understood that our kids are actual, their own human beings, we don't own them. We're here to help guide them with mm -hmm. making their own choices, making their own mistakes. And then when they do make the mistakes, we help them. We explain that this is okay and what we can learn for next time. Oh my goodness. Imagine how well-rounded children would feel how confident they would be when they grew up and how much value they would be able to carry on and share with the world. Yes. That's so true because um, what what I found is that if you're controlling of your kids and, and their future and, and trying to manipulate them, not manipulate, manipulate them as well, I think what ends up happening is that later on in life, they start to blame yes. others yeah. or blame you, you. right? Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's never a guilt I think a parent would ever want to have. To, to like feel like, okay, I, I did this to my child. Yeah. Because if you love them enough, you want them to make their own decision. So like, I, I love what you said. You want to shape them and have them make their own decisions. So that way in the future, if they do make a mistake, they can own it themselves. Instead yeah. of saying, oh, my mom and dad created this bubble that I'm in now. And yeah. It just creates a, a very negative feeling about your relationship. With yeah. The, with the I think it's it, the core of it is realizing that you can't control another human being and you can shape them. But if they don't turn out the way that you think they should be or they turn out to be quote, quote, bad in a way, it also is not a reflection of you as a person. Right. And I think that's where a lot of parents hold on to is because, oh, if I mess up my kid, then it will be my fault. And it's not like... No people are who they are and they're going to be who they're going to be they're going to do what they're going to yep. do you just have to let go of that ego and realize that you can just help them